Chemical sunscreens have three primary defects. They are powerful free radical generators. Chemical sunscreens generate free radicals, a molecular process in the body that results in the disruption of a living cell. Free radicals increase cellular damage and tissue changes that lead to cancer. Secondly, they often have strong estrogenic activity. Chemical sunscreens contain estrogenic or gender-bending chemicals that interfere with normal sexual development. This developmental abnormality creates a host of secondary medical problems such as early puberty in girls and breast cysts in adult women. So thirdly, chemical sunscreen is a compound of synthetic chemicals that are alien to the human body and collect in stores of body fat. The human body is well adapted to detoxify itself of chemicals, but often the body has difficulty removing new and non-organic compounds such as DDT, dioxin, PCBs, used in aerosol sprays and refrigerators, and of course, chemical sunscreens. Sorolin is a synthetic compound used to treat psoriasis, which is also found in sunscreens and increases skin cancer rates by 83 times. 83 times the normal rate for skin cancer. Sunscreens, which use sorolin, induce phototoxicity and can also result in extremely adverse epidermal effects. Let's put this in a little bit of perspective. An estimated 4,000 to 6,000 tons of sunscreen are released annually in reef areas around the world. When you go for a swim for only 20 minutes, at least 25% of the sunscreen's ingredients on your skin is released into the water. So, if sunscreen is bleaching the coral areas around the world, imagine what it's doing to the insides because you absorb it. Knowing this, naturally, anyone will want to find an alternative. The best method of UV protection I've come across is the SunSoul range of clothing from sunscreenwear.com. Hats and shirts protect your body from the sun with an ultraviolet protection factor of 50 plus.